Emmanuel. My name is Florence Alumona. I want to ask the man, does he kill people that has Jesus, a born again Christian? Clap for her. The woman was asking you, what of born again Christian? Sir, born again is quite different. We have so many people who, who used to come to church. They used to go to Abali's house. But if it is true, Christian, the preacher will come back. He will tell me that this son, the way you send me to that person, he, he, he didn't have the power to, to kill that person. So I will tell him. Okay. This is why we are asking a question. Those of you that go to church and still go to witch doctor, if this dog catch you, I will deliver you, I will deliver the PG at the same time. I don't need to go and touch him. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Holy Ghost fire. Die. The power of the Holy Spirit blew Mr. Shegun Maku off his feet. Now under the sanctifying influence of the Holy Spirit, he is being disconnected from every chain Satan had used to connect him to himself. They are receiving deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ, both Mr. Maku and his pigeon. Il aurait vu être propulsé voir ce pigeon au sol. Thank you, Lord. They are free. Glory be to God in the highest. So, you can see the pigeon. The name Jesus bring light where there is darkness. The name Jesus bring understanding where there is ignorance. The name Jesus bring awareness of righteousness where there is sin. The name Jesus bring joy where there is sadness. Above all, contentment. Give him mind. Let him call the name Jesus. See what will happen to him. Jesus. See what is happening to him. After calling the name Jesus Christ, you can see him shaking. Oh. And see what is happening to him right now. Down he goes. Uh, that is one of the children crying. Devant devant la démonstration de le nom de Jésus Christ, la puissance qui demeure dans ce nom. If you agree with me that Jesus is greater than your need, let me see your hand. There is a brother there, tall, towards the end of this row. Yes. Just raise up your hand. Can I speak to you, sir? Yes, sir. There is a charm you, you are carrying up and down. Go, can you go and bring the charm? Yes, sir. Il est venu avec un objet occulte à l'église. Il a été le récupéré à l'extérieur. Le voici qui rentre maintenant. Yes. People consult you. Yes, sir. 
I'm seeing this thing appear, woman being appear to you every night. Yes. And used they to surround eat. you that they want to kill you. Yes, sir. I used to eat with me. And sometimes my wife would say that, what is that? I would say that nothing. So I used to prepare some shams for people. So if, if customer come to me, say that they want something else, I would say that like what? They will explain themselves. So I, the item here, they have something that I used to serve here. I will serve it for them. So if they go to that place, they will see that everything will be possible the way they need it. So this something now, he need blood for me. So I said I didn't have anything to give him anymore. I don't want to serve him anymore. Listen to me. Yes, sir. And confirm my word. Not yes. you don't want to serve him anymore. Human being appear to you. Yes, yes sir. And said, they say they want to kill you. Yes, sir. Let me not give him blood. they come to you physically, they yes. want to kill you, you will yes. not come out. Yes, yes sir. You know you used to shout in the night. You cry out. Of course, sir. Yes, sir. Sometimes I sleep in the bed. The man will come with Mercedes Benz White with Dada. He will come and wake me. He said that I should sit down. That he want to eat. He said that he need blood. That is is me. That the something want to kill. He said they need blood. Yes. Okay. Can you address the people of God? The failure in this business. We yes. need to have. Jesus, yes, of as course. our Lord and Savior. Yeah, of course. Sir. Please, uh, viewers, I beg you, all, because this way is not a real way. Because take Christ, follow Jesus Christ. That is the mo most ultimate. So you have now become life. a preacher now. No, no, sir. <laughs> I want to advise most of the men. Okay, okay, men this is your wife. Yes, yes, sir. Madam. Can you tell me how he behaved in the night when these people come? Since I married my husband almost 17 years ago, I married my husband when I was 18 years old. So, since then, my husband will carry one little stick. L little he, stick? One little stick. He boil all on it. He will put it in the floor. If he want to serve the stick, he will blow it all boo. He will not keep out on top of that stick, pour the blood on it. He will not carry that stick. He said, oh, boo, please save, my, save me, oh, save my wife and guide my children. And that word always touches my heart. Because if I tell my husband to surrender his life, in fact, I will not know a reaction. So I always pray every day. Hope to one time like that. Maybe me and the children will sleep. I will hear in voice. I will shock. You. I, I will hear my husband's voice in the midnight. Shouting. He will shout and we'll be discussing as if there is someone waiting. How many of them are always uh, they can they can be five or six. They will surround me. That <laughs> spiritual people. It's not the real people, sir. Let me call with message. So, I will now stand up from sleep, maybe around 2 or 3 in the midnight. I will now call my husband. Who is those people that you are discussing with? In the midnight? He's, yes, he said it's those, because he have different type of juju. In the house? Yes. One is a Ogu, one, one is a... Ogu, one is a Roko. There is different name in fact. So, I will now ask my husband, say, who are you talking to? He says uh, it's the juju demo. They come, they say they want to take in life or they need blood. I will not tell my husband, say, oh, we are praying and let's pray. And let's take this thing to church. My husband will ask me, say, if he take this thing to church, I will have money to feed me and my children. Can you see the problem you have been for long? You keep crying and praying to God and you say you have given your life to Jesus, but your daily bread comes from charm. <laughs> and your children, yourself, everything, everybody has been affected. Now there was a marriage, a woman that came to you. 
and demise for a charm because the husband marry another wife light in complexion and you give this charm the charm work badly of and it affected the man and you, are right, sir. you are right sir i'm just telling him one of the things he has done just one of the thousands we have many questions to ask you which are liberty next sunday okay, okay? but okay, sir. i will receive you as my guest yes, your family your children you go and bring them yes, sir. for deliverance yes, and uh, your home too we go there make sure we pack everything there is another one in your house it's a white uh, calabash yes that one it they fear me to carry the real one that conjured that evil angel is that the one in the white calabash yes sir you are right without prophetic gift and you confront this person he will fight you back all what he put down is still a test if he realized that i could not probe the issue forward he will fight back the real issue is at home he prepared that sham with four hundred thousand four hundred thousand yes there is a pigeon pigeon that used to fly and fly back yes eh? yes can you bring this thing out the man is asked to bring out what is in the plastic bag earlier the wife confirmed the wife said the man has so many charms different one and shrine that is a particular one that he used to pray to and sacrifice to. He will kill a fowl, pour the blood on it, and continue to pray. That he has advised the husband several times to leave the child. The husband will not listen. Return it back to the bar. Watch the screen. The man is packing back the champs. Following the prophecy on Sunday concerning his life. Mr. Shegung Maku was given anointing water by Prophet T.B. Joshua to go and bring the charm he had left at home. Mr. Maku, together with a member of the Emmanuel TV team, board a bus outside the Synagogue Church of All Nations. They are on their way to get the charm that Prophet T.B. Joshua prophesied about on Sunday. They arrive outside the house of Mr. Maku. Disembarking, they enter the house where the charm is kept. You are inside my room. My name is Chegu Sunday Maku. This is ninety water. For healing, deliverance, for salvation. He said I should have sprayed for the charm and carry the charm. The charm is inside my room there. I'm afraid to reach there. Mr. Maku leads the team into his bedroom. That is the sham inside the box there. Because this sham is very powerful. It can kill somebody. It can even kill me. I put the TV on top. If somebody come to my house, he will not see anything. It's TV that he will see. Mr. Shegung Maku brings out the bottle of anointing water. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the blood of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, by the blood of Jesus Christ, by the name of Jesus Christ. Mr. Maku takes the television off the box and again, spraying the anointing water for salvation, healing and deliverance, he cautiously opens the box. It's very powerful. The demon there. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the blood of Jesus Christ. Inside the box is the pigeon and white pot containing the powerful charm the man of God prophesied about during the Sunday service. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the blood of Jesus Christ. God, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the blood of Jesus Christ. After spraying the anointing water once again, Mr. Maku reaches out his hand to take the pigeon and the white pot containing the powerful charm out of the box. This is the pigeon man of God is talking about and this is the white bull. Man of God is talking about too. And this pigeon, if somebody sees it, he will think that it's an honorary pigeon. It's not pigeon. It's demon. This soup 
If somebody came to me that you want to harm human being, I have a special bucket here, a special sponge. I will go and bath with it. This is the bucket and this is the sponge. I use it with that charm that will disfigure human being life. I will tell the person that you should write the name, the name of the person to me and what he want me to do for the person. So if you write it, I will take this, use the soap to bath. After I use it to bath, I will that paper that he write something on it, I will just put into the leg or in the mouth of the uh, pigeon. So we fly. It will land on top of the zinc of the person. The next day, that will occur for the person. And the pigeon, the moment he go, he will see come back. If I'm not around, he will wait me. If somebody see the pigeon, we think that it's another pigeon. They know that it's very, it's a, it's a demon. Any kind of way I want to use it, I can use it. But if it is blindness, he want, he will write that he want the pair to blind. Before I carry this pigeon and this bull like this, it's because of the anointing water who gave me the power now to carry it. If not, <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I can't even hear it. Because it used to appear to me, physical, like a human being. You want to take my life, so I don't want to die. It's my father who teach me all these things from origin. That is the work of my father before he hand over it for me. I have to go and bath before I ever touch the sham. Before I use it to perform anything at all. Because this thing is very powerful. I can even send this bed to London. It will go and come back. I prepared this sham with 400,000. And now, the sham want to kill me. It used to appear to me face to face that he need blood. Sometimes we come with a member, almost six of them. So we bring vehicle. That is a Mercedes Benz white. They will come, come and meet me that they need blood. It's not the, because they are anointed uh, water, I can never touch it, I can never hold it like this. Mr. Maku begins to pack the bucket and sponge that he used to use, together with the charm, to take them to the synagogue church of all nations. This demon is over three years on top of that table there. Mr. Shegu Maku once again sprays the anointing water over the cardboard box containing the charm and pigeon. He then carries it out of his house and boards the vehicle, waiting to take him to the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Mr. Shegu Maku arrives safely to the Synagogue Church of All Nations and makes his way inside the church walkway. Oui, regardez votre écran. Cet homme va maintenant sortir pour donner son témoignage, car c'était un marabout dont l'homme de Dieu a donné une prophétie dimanche dernier. That is the man, the wife, and his children. Man of God, the sham is, is, is outside here. I want to go and bring it. Mr. Shegun Maku said that he kept the charms outside the church auditorium, and he moves to go and get them. Going outside the church, we can see him at the back of a car, where he brings out a carrier bag and two cardboard boxes which contain the charms and diabolic items of his witch doctor trade. Mr. Shegun Maku awkwardly carries the two boxes and the carrier bag containing all his charms back towards the church building so that he can finally be set free. He enters into the synagogue church of all nations auditorium and assisted by his wife, he walks back to his position by the altar and places the items on the floor before the altar. Next, he spreads out a filthy cloth on the floor before bringing each of the charms out of their containers. Mr. Maku brings out many dirty charms and objects, including a grimy looking padlock. This is the pigeon and white pot the man of God had prophesied about last week's Sunday. This is the special bucket and sponge used in the ritual. He brings out the wash bowl and sponge. So anywhere we are, let us be quiet as we are about to listen to him explain the harms he has done to people with this charm, the cures he has caused in the life of people with these charms that we are seeing with him displayed on the floor there. 
Vous voyez les différents objets occultes que cet homme a ramenés, démontrer qu'effectivement, confirmer la prophétie de l'homme de Dieu, qu'il est un marabout. Ils ont l'habitude de venir le consulter. Il a dit que c'est le pigeon et le plus puissant de ces objets occultes. C'est un démon. L'habitude d'utiliser que si ce, ce pigeon se pose sur le toit de votre maison, quel que soit ce que la personne a demandé qu'elle vous fasse, va vous arriver. My name is Shegumaku. The, the time I'm, I'm in Bini, I'm doing transporter. So my father sent, sent to me that I should come and meet him. So my father is Abalis, a strong Abalis. My father hand over every, all this charm, all this Abalis, uh, something to me that I should start the work of Abalis. So he gave everything to me. I went to Edo State to start how to do the charm. People is coming to me to prepare sham for them. Man or woman. So if they come to me, they will write their name. I will, I will tell them that, that you write the opponent name. So they will write it and the address of the place. So I will use this soap to bath first. It's the white one, man of God measure, that was Sunday. And it's very powerful. This is the white bowl the man of God prophesied about during the last Sunday service that Mr. Maku had left at home because he was afraid to touch it. How does the soap and PG work together? Tell us the work. The soap, I prepare it. Now, if I want to use it with the pigeon, I will use the soap to bath with my special sponge and my special uh, uh, bucket. Uh, this is the bucket, sir. Okay. So I will use it to bath. After I use it to bath, the name I will put it inside the pigeon uh, hand or in mouth. I will tell, I will command the pigeon that now you are going, go and do the job and come back. The moment the pigeon will climb, will, will fly to go to, to the address, the resident of the person, he drop the letter on top of the zinc, so he will come back before daybreak. The don't have done. He mentioned earlier that the soap and pigeon work together. He said that the first thing he would do is to bathe with the soap in the white bowl, and then he would go to the pigeon and command it to go and destroy. If any customer came to him saying that he wanted to hurt someone, Mr. Shegan would ask them to write the person's name, address, and what they wanted to happen to the person in question. Then. He would put the paper in the pigeon's beak or claws and command it to go and complete the task. He added that the pigeon would immediately fly to the roof of the person's house and drop the paper on their roof. By morning, whatever the customer had requested would have happened. Then the pigeon would fly back to him to report its success, speaking with a human voice only he could hear. What are the kind of job you normally send the pigeon? I used to I used to send it to go and turn somebody to stroke. It can turn somebody to stroke. It's the message I want to send him. I will command him. So he will go if it is London or anywhere. He will go and come and give me reply. It, it can turn somebody to mentor. Any kind it can turn to person to anything that the person wants me to do it. Mr. Maku said that the pigeon could be used to make someone have a mental disorder to cause a stroke to maim, or to do any evil thing that he wanted to happen. All he had to do was to command the pigeon, and it would carry out his order. Shegun Maku then said that the pigeon can go anywhere, to any country all across the world. Woman who want husband, if he come to come and meet me, or he want to collect money for the, for the man, and I will tell the woman that first thing, if you can swallow bitter cola, that I will, I will use it to do something for her. The moment I swallow the bitter cola and stew the bitter cola, I will, I will look for a rope, a special rope that we used to use for the work. And the bitter cola, I will ask the woman to bab the hair, the front hair, and the beers in, in, in interna, and the beers in the armpit, and the uh, uh, fingernails. So I, I will ask the woman to buy a native pot, I will prepare it. So the moment we prepare, I ask the woman to pray on it. How do you, how the woman want it to be? The moment the woman pray it, 
the way the woman wants it and if you went to go and put it in the food or mineral or any item the man eat it well anything the woman asks of it will be so if that thing is a commanding tune again it's everlasting for the woman body or the man body anywhere i can send the dove to anywhere if this london nigeria here any any country have you sent it to london before I, I, I send this dove to to uh... <laughs> he sent that to london he said that to london yes the wife is confirming it now i send this vision to the italy one woman give me the job at those states that he, he have a husband there that he disappoint her so i send the the pigeon there to go and do the job he had sent the pigeon to london and italy in the past there was one particular woman who said that a man had disappointed her and she wanted him to be destroyed mr shagun sent the pigeon to italy and the man was indeed destroyed if i send the pigeon down to go and do any bad work if he come back he will talk to me physical and nobody will know what the pigeon is saying i can send him to cause a student what is again there is no destruction the pigeon cannot do you have to accept jesus as your lord and savior i rise to accept jesus christ today as my savior do you have people you have chained down you have tied down with this thing uh many people sir i have many work in my hand that they used to call me many work is um, that they give me money now i forget about the job because i want to give my life to christ the man of god asked mr maku if he had tied anyone down by his charms and practices to which he answered yes that many are tied down till this moment and he has collected money from several people to do other jobs for them but he has abandoned all of them because he wants to give his life to christ do you have any question anywhere okay woman please come come l'homme de lui demande à l'assemblée si les gens ont des questions Emmanuel, un homme et une femme juste pour poser une question my name à is florence alumona i want to ask the man does he kill people that has jesus a born again christian clap for her the woman was asking you what of born again christian sir born again is quite different we have so many people who, who used to come to church they used to go to abali's house but if it is true christian the preacher will come back he will tell me that this son the way you send me to that person he didn't have the power to to kill that person so i will tell okay this is why we are asked a question those of you that go to church and still go to which doctor if this dog catch you The belief of many is that uh, the PG need to be burned. If you burn the PG, this demon in him will go out. You only burn the PG flesh. So the answer is deliverance. And let the PG continue to live. It will be delivered and the wife also will be delivered. You say there is a man that come to you physically with a uh, which vehicle mercedes best white with dada how does the man look like he look like a human being but uh, he's a ghost sir he came and meet me he said that he will need blood he need my blood you cannot estimate the number of people you have destroyed uh, many people i cannot count because they used to pay me anybody who come who pay me money do this job i'm doing it going to 10 years i will deliver you i will deliver the pg at the same time i don't need to go and touch you in the mighty name of jesus Christ, yeah. holy ghost fire Ha <laughs> ha
The power of the Holy Spirit blew Mr. Shegun Maku off his feet. Now under the sanctifying influence of the Holy Spirit, he is being disconnected from every chain Satan had used to connect him to himself. They are receiving deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ, both Mr. Maku and his pigeon. Là, il veut être propulsé voir ce pigeon au sol. Thank you, Lord. They are free. Glory be to God in the eyes. So, you can see the pigeon. The name Jesus bring light where there is darkness. The name Jesus bring understanding where there is ignorance. The name Jesus bring awareness of righteousness where there is sin. The name Jesus bring joy where there is sadness. Above all, contentment. Give him mind. Let him call the name Jesus. See what will happen to him. Jesus. See what is happening to him. After calling the name Jesus Christ, you can see him shaking. Oh. And see what is happening to him right now. Down he goes. Uh, that is one of the children crying. Devant devant la démonstration de le nom de Jésus Christ, la puissance qui demeure dans ce nom. If you agree with me that Jesus is greater than your need, let me see your hand. This park lock, it will mention the name of people and lock it. We are going to lose the padlock now so that people can be free. One thousand two hundred people name. I will personally open it myself. L'homme de Dieu veut dire qu'il reste ce cadenas. Il a dit selon ce qu'il voit qu'il y a 1200 personnes qui ont été Thousands of people have just been unlocked from the bondage they have been for years. The man of God revealed by the Spirit of God the evil that this witch doctor has done with this padlock that we are seeing right there. And the man of God by the Spirit of God go there, collect the padlock and unlock more than 1,200 people have been locked. Man of God, it's true. What you said about the padlock is true. My husband used it to lock people's destiny. More, thousands of people. A lot of people now, they are getting free now, but they don't know how the freedom comes. Maintenant, des milliers de personnes auront leur liberté, mais ne sauront pas d'où viennent leur liberté. Ils ont été, ils sont sortis de la cage à cause du cadenas qui a été ouvert. Come. Who is the newcomer here? Dieu a dit qu'il va être aussi être délivré. In the name of Jesus, just speak to her. In the name of Jesus, just speak to her and see what will happen. The man is a newcomer. He has been called out among the newcomers to go forward and use the mighty power in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So what is happening? Down she goes. That is the mightiness of God's power. Cet homme est un nouveau venu qui a été envoyé par l'homme de Dieu pour utiliser le nom de Jésus sur cette femme. Nous avons vu tomber sur la puissance de Dieu pour démontrer que la présence de Dieu est dans ce lieu. Ça, je suis surpris. Tu es surpris. Je suis surpris encore, je suis très heureux. Can you see? The need for you to live for God and stop sinning. The name Jesus bring light where there is darkness. 
the name Jesus brings understanding where there's ignorance. The name Jesus bring awareness of righteousness where they sin the name jesus bring joy where there's sadness Amen. above all contentment After Mr. Maku's deliverance, he is presented with a cash gift of 300,000 Naira and a Holy Bible to further assist Mr. Maku and his family as a platform to start business, so that he won't go back to his former way of life to make ends meet. My name is Shegu Maku. This woman here is my wife, and this is my son, and the other one there is my son and my two daughters with me. The moment I come to synagogue, I really know that, yeah, God is existing in this church to make my life to change to, from worse to good. And I thank God for my life today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, yeah. Holy Ghost, fire! The power of the Holy Spirit blew Mr. Shegun Maku off his feet. Now under the sanctifying influence of the Holy Spirit, he is being disconnected from every chain Satan had used to connect him to himself. Uh, really delivered me, and the moment it delivered me, something came out in, inside my body. That is the power of the, of the sham himself. Let him call the name Jesus, see what will happen to him. Jesus! See what is happening to him? After calling the name Jesus Christ, you can see him shaking oh. and see what is happening to him right now. Down he goes. Uh, Jesus is really great. Now nah, I'm a freedom man. I didn't used to see anything. If I sleep in the night, I sleep like a young, uh, young man. You know, I'm a freedom man in short. You mean you're a free man? I'm a free man. I didn't have any, anything again. My body now is very free. Let him call the name Jesus. See what will happen to him. Jesus! See what is happening to him? After calling the name Jesus Christ, you can see him shaking. Oh. See what is happening to him right now. Down he goes. Now I give my life to Christ. I want Christ to take control over my life. After Mr. Maku's deliverance, he is presented with a cash gift of 300,000 Naira and a Holy Bible to further assist Mr. Maku and his family as a platform to start business so that he won't go back to his former way of life to make ends meet. God is, is alive. And Prophet T.B. Joshua gave me some of... 300,000. This Holy Bible is very great in my life now. I, ten, I, I, I will be reading it at any time. Both morning I wake up, in the evening I want to sleep, or Sunday I will come to my service constantly. I want to follow God in a true way. To God be the glory. We thank God Almighty that you have decided wholeheartedly to give your life to Jesus Christ, having experienced that the Lord is the only way and we thank god almighty that today you are blessed with a sum of uh, three hundred thousand naira uh, four bag of rice i'm very grateful i did express such i'm very grateful i just come here for only deliverance and go away but this big gift i, va I value it very well because now if i went to my home now i will use this item to feed my uh, son or my daughter and this money i will use it for a big business it's a huge of money yes we thank god almighty for your life and uh, we pray that the lord will grant you the grace to maintain your deliverance and also uh, live your life for our lord and savior jesus christ in jesus name amen, amen. let's hear from your wife we believe she has uh, one or two things to contribute to 
the wonderful deliverance you received today. But now we thank God Almighty for your life. Can you tell us your name? My name is Caroline Maku. I'm really thank God for the man of God, uh, Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua. For, for God used Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua to heal my husband, to deliver my husband from the hands of Satan and the hands of evil. So I so much thank God. I wish he did not come here till now to come and submit all those things. I did not know the story that I will give now. So I so much thank God because I know there is God in here. Because my husband before, he did not even know God. In fact, I was surprised. Because when we came here for deliverance, and since then, the man of God was taking care of me and my children, you know, was giving us money to take care of my family because he said he don't want us to eat from that juju's money again. I was amazed because this evening, he gave my husband 300000 he gave he give my children scholarship, and he gave my, my husband holy Bible, and he gave us four bags of rice. In fact, I will tell the whole world, say there is spirit of God in this church. Thank you very much. We thank God Almighty for what he has done in your life and also in the life of your husband, bringing the family together and also taking the kingdom of darkness off you to the glory of God. And we want to use this opportunity to also inform you and your husband that it's not enough to come to Jesus Christ for deliverance. It is true that God Almighty is in all ages gathering into himself a generation of spiritual worshippers. And of course, we also have a role to play. The Bible says we should worship God in spirit and in truth. I also pray that the newfound Christ, newfound love in Christ Jesus, newfound life in Christ Jesus, which your husband has started experiencing, will remain permanent as he maintains a special relationship with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much.